I don't know if you know this, but Rocket League has a lot of mechanics. And what's even crazier is that players are still finding new ones. And when I say still, I'm talking about last month. So today we're gonna review 8 new mechanics that have been found between late 2019 and early this year. Let's begin. Number 1 is the Wall Dash, and if you don't know what that is, it looks like this. I first saw this mechanic on a clip Squishy posted on Twitter on February last year. But looking for a possible origin, I found a video made in October 2019 from the YouTuber Double Points, where they talk about something called Infinity Dash, which is essentially the same thing. The mechanic itself is relatively easy to do. You just wave dash to the side, hold your joystick in the direction toward the wall is, and spam the jump button while holding power slide. I haven't practiced it enough myself, but slightly alterations in the direction you hold the joystick and how fast you're able to spam jump can affect how long you will be wave dashing. For example, double points here goes almost from one end of the field to the other using only wall dashes. Now, whether or not this mechanic is useful in a competitive environment is another topic. The pro player Sebastian Adamaski has a clip showing how applying the wall dash in the right moment gave him a clear advantage over his opponent, as jumping on the wall like an angry spider should do. So clearly this mechanic has some use, although it's fair to say this clip is almost a year old and I have not seen any more highlights like this one. Number 2 is the Jacer Flick. This new mechanic is actually really cool, because it's a flick that can generate a ton of power with very little movement and a fast recovery. I've never really tried it until making this video, so my attempts are not the best example. But here is Jacer showing how it's actually done. To do this flick, you need to backflip while holding one of the directional air rolls left or right and immediately cancel the backflip. Keep in mind you're canceling a backflip, so you actually want to point your joystick up when doing the cancel. I only mention this because if you're used to do speed flips or cancelling your flips when shooting, it can be really hard trying to tell your fingers they need to cancel in the opposite direction, at least if your fingers are dumb like mine. Now, Jason has said some players can do this flick without using directional arrow, but I think it's just because their cars naturally roll on the flip cancel due to high tension sensitivity and doing the cancel in a slightly diagonal direction. Either way, I think it's actually easier with the arrow. Another thing worth mentioning is the position of the ball on your car. Unlike a front flick, I found this flick is more powerful if the ball is near the center of your car, because the backflip actually moves your car away from the ball, so having the ball near the center makes it easier to launch it high in the air. Number 3 is the Breezy Pop. This one is actually very recent and it was of course discovered by the pro player Breezy, which is also the founder of the Breezy Flick. The Breezy Pop is a neat little trick you can do when dribbling, and to me it's a kind of fake, because you have to jump with the ball and actually move your car ahead of the ball, so it really looks like you've lost control. But when you're about to land, you do a backflip which you quickly cancel. Do it at the right time and you'll be able to pop the ball up really high, and basically do whatever you want. I think this new mechanic is amazing. The sudden pop of the ball can be very unexpected, and since you're back on the ground really quick, you have a lot of options for the follow-up. The downside is that it's harder than it looks. It took me a lot of tries to get this one sort of right, and my mechanics are just above average. So I think it's really useful, but it takes a lot of practice and car control. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see this one getting used in the pro scene sometime soon. Number 4 is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in Rocket League. I mean, see for yourself. This is called Horse Dashing. It was discovered by these two guys on Twitter and Instagram and it was actually featured by Flump on June last year. I haven't tried to do this because why would I do that, but it looks like their chaining forward and backward wave dashes at just the perfect time to create this sort of right emotion. There's clips of one of the founders of this mechanic where he actually uses it for scoring goals, both in training and in game. The in-game clip actually looks cool, I give him that. A horse dash double tap. Three words I never thought I'd say together. This little clip shows one of the players just vibing. I mean, horse vibing. He even has public. Although, to be fair, it looks really funny. But I don't see any use at a competitive environment outside of being on zero seconds after getting Brazil and you just start horse dashing to cope with the pain. Number 5 falls into a new category of mechanics, which we could call meme mechanics. This is the Obama flick. 
This move was coined by Rocket League YouTuber A Musty Cow in one of his Once Until I Lose videos. All you have to do is lean your car forward and nose dive for a few seconds before taking your shot, which means the mechanic itself is actually the nose dive part, since you can do whatever you want after that. Technically, we could describe this as a really delayed fake Musty plus whatever it is you do after the Obama. Like I said, I'm aware Musty was just being silly naming this, and I guess some people could argue this is not a mechanic at all and I could understand that, but I wouldn't agree 100%. This is a specific move a community figure decided to name, and more important, the rest of the community recognizes his validity. I've actually seen a lot of people on Instagram showing off their own Obamas. I think it's fair to say this mechanic, meme status and all, it deserves its own place. Number 6. It's brand new curve dashing. This mechanic was discovered by Halfway Dead from Rocket Science, which if you follow his channel, you know it's gonna be good. Halfway Dead found a way to use the curve with the wall and the ground meet and turn a single jump into a wave dash, effectively making your car go supersonic with no boost whatsoever. This is accomplished by jumping from the curve just at the right time so that only your front wheels leave the ground. From this point, you can do a wave dash which is gonna give you a lot of speed. Halfway Dead has recognized this can be hard to pull off and it's gonna be different for each car, exactly where on the curve you are and the speed you're going in that moment. Nevertheless, this looks like a mechanic that could be very useful if mastered and who knows, maybe it grows to be as useful as the half flip is today. In the meantime, now we have a new and faster way of coming down off the wall. Number 7 is another entry from late 2019, the Tonic Twist. This mechanic is so weird to me, I don't even know how to describe it. I actually encourage you to watch the original video for this move, which will be linked in the description like the other ones. But essentially, it looks like he's doing a weird way dash into a tornado spin, which gives him a flip reset for some reason. Like seriously, how is he getting the reset? But anyway, this move seems perfect for freestylers, and I'm sure some of them are doing it out there, but I don't see any competitive use for it. Since it it takes too long to set up and it's not boost efficient. Other than that, looks cool, seems fun, and you get a flip reset. The last mechanic of this list is, for better or worse, another meme. This one was created sort of by accident and it was basically a meme pushed by the creators community. I'm talking about the infamous Athena flick. If you don't know what this is, well, I'll just let the one and only Athena explain it to you. Now, the Athena flick is essentially when you flick the ball on top of your car and it hits the crossbar. So this was born as a meme just to make fun of Athena, but the funny thing is that whatever the original intentions were, it had an unexpected effect on Athena's Twitch stream. It made her even more popular. The meme kept growing until the Athena flick was everywhere. Now the hype has gone down a little bit, but I'm sure the Athena flick reference is gonna stay in the Rocket League community from now on. Alright guys, those were 8 new mechanics found in 2020. The ish. I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments if I missed any, and don't forget to tell me how dumb I am for including the Obama and Athena flick. And as always, like and subscribe for more content. I've been Frousy, thanks for watching.